<gasps> okay. I definitely love this shade. Oh, that's nice. Not bad. Like I said, they are very similar to Maybelline eyeshadows. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Crystal and today I am going to review the eyeshadow palettes that I included in my most recent beauty haul. These are by the brand Su Fei Fei. So it's actually from the same line but these are two different palettes. I ordered 01 and 02. Honestly, I've never tried anything from this brand so I really don't know what to expect. This is how the box looks like. Very simple. When you take it out of the box, it still has this cardboard which is nice. It means it's going to protect the palette, especially when it's being shipped. So this is how the palette looks like. Very cute and simple. It just says I'm eyeshadow and um, the brand name of course. And on the back, there's really nothing else. It's just a sticker that indicates the palette number. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys first 01. It's actually really, really cute. There are no matte shades in this palette, but it's nice to carry this with you. If you have another palette with you that has um, matte shades. So yeah, if you are a fan of shimmery colors, you might love this palette. And I have here 02, and this is the one that has the matte shades. Alright, so this is 02. So you have four shimmery shades, three matte colors here, and then you have these um, like highlight shades with a little bit of sheen to them. They're not as sparkly as the others. It has a scent, but it doesn't smell bad. It just smells like makeup, you know? It doesn't have a weird scent or whatever. Let me just swatch the mattes first. So here is the peach one, the brown, and the red. So that is the burgundy shade from the matte colors. This is the brown, and this is the peachy shade so you can't really see it that much if they're not super opaque it's okay with me sometimes i like eyeshadows that are buildable rather than super crazy pigmented when it comes to my shimmers i always look for something that's really opaque by just looking at the pan it looks like as if it's very metallic so we're gonna see if the shimmers are only on top if it's just an overspray or if it's really packed with shimmers we're gonna see okay Wow! Oh my gosh, that's actually really metallic. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is just the first color from the shimmers and I'm already really impressed. And yeah, by just watching it the first time, um, it doesn't feel dry. We're gonna go ahead and swatch the next one. And they feel really buttery as well. Oh wow. So that is the other shimmer. Hopefully you can see that. We're gonna swatch one of the light shades. Oh wow. Okay. Nice. The shimmers are actually really nice as well. So right off the bat, I can tell you guys already that the shimmers are really good. They're not dry. That's the first thing that I was really worried about if it's going to be very dry, but they're not. I'm just going to start with this color right here. It's a peachy mocha shade. Not bad once it's on your eyes. And I can tell already that these shadows are buildable. Oh wow. They're nice. It's actually a very, very beautiful formula. Um, it's very lightweight, it doesn't feel heavy, and it's very blendable. Wow. So far, so good. I like a buildable formula. I also like something that's very easy to blend, like this one. And... Uh, like I said, the mattes are not dry. The formula isn't hard to work with. We're gonna move on to another shade. This is the dark brown. I'm just going to apply that um, lower than the first shade. I already applied a lot of the peachy shade, so I'm not sure if this is going to show up. But yeah, it's not really showing up that much on top of the first shade. So... I'm not sure. I feel like if I apply this as the first shade, it's going to show up. But now that I already have the 
um, peachy shade it's not sticking and it's not showing up that well I'm going to apply this on my lower lash line see it's definitely there it's just that the first shade that I applied is light you are trying to build up the color yet it still looks lightweight and thin this is exactly what I want all right, so I tried to build up this color and I think this is as dark as it can get. Um, it's not super pigmented, but I feel like if I use this first um, as my transition shade, this look is going to be darker. But I'm not really mad about this. I think I was able to darken up the look a tiny bit. But um, if I were to start all over again, I'm going to use this as my first color. I also noticed that it doesn't have fallout so far. So that's a good start. Okay, so for the shimmery shade, I think we're gonna switch to the other palette. Alright, so now we are using the palette 01 and these are all the shimmery shades. I'm gonna use this color here. So it's like a bronzy gold color. Um, yeah, this one. We're gonna apply that on my lids. Wow, that's really nice. And as expected, the shimmers actually show up a lot better than the mattes. Wow, that's actually a really nice color. The shimmers are definitely not bad. They're really, really not bad at all. They're actually really nice. The formula reminds me so much of Maybelline eyeshadows. They're not as intense and opaque as... Um, like Urban Decay eyeshadows or Jeffree Star palettes but like I said they are very similar to Maybelline eyeshadows it's like a drugstore type of formula I'm gonna go back to the matte brown shade from palette 2 just gonna blend this color on top of that and now I'm gonna be able to appreciate this color more Okay, so that's what we have so far. And I'm also going to use this color to contour my nose. Because I feel like it's the perfect shade. The only thing that I wish it has is like a darker brown. I'm going to apply this color right here because this is the most colorful shade out of all of them everything else is just neutral but i want to apply this on the outer corner of my eyes and we're gonna see if it's going to make a difference oh wow that looks so good <gasps> okay i definitely love this shade I feel like if I apply this all over my lids, it's going to look so nice as well. So I'm just going to um, blend the two together. I feel like this color saved the look. I think we're gonna go back to the All Shimmers palette. I think I'm gonna go for this one right here. This one, hopefully you can see the color. Yeah, it's like an army green, but it's more of a gold. So we're gonna see how this is going to look um, on my eyes. And then for highlights, I'm just going to use the palette 02 and then I'm going to apply this like champagne shade right here and apply that on my inner corners. Wow, that one is definitely so pigmented. We're going to move on to this second highlight shade and apply that on my brow bone. Wow, that's intense. There's a cream shade from my Morphe Boss Mood palette and the formula is actually almost the same which is crazy because this palette is so cheap. 
Okay, so I think we are done with the eyeshadow. I'm just going to apply my liner and lashes and then I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back with the finished look. I was not expecting the eyeshadow to turn out this good, but I'm actually really, really loving the look. This is actually something I would wear to a special event. It feels very, very lightweight. It's not thick. I have used a lot of eyeshadows that feel so thick. And yes, they are pigmented, but once it's on your eyes, it just feels heavy. It looks heavy. It looks thick. Instead of looking nice, um, it just looks very cakey, if you know what I mean. It's definitely not the most opaque eyeshadows but they perform really well especially if you are just doing a daily makeup look i never had any problems with the blending or anything like that um it was very easy to use yeah it looks really really nice i love the combination of the gold as you can see it looks really nice it doesn't look like i used a very affordable palette and like i mentioned earlier the quality of the eyeshadows are very similar to maybelline or like revlon and covergirl eyeshadow palette so I would say the shadows have like drugstore quality but what's crazy is that I feel like these eyeshadows are a lot better than most of my Clinique eyeshadows and they perform a lot better than some of the Estee Lauder eyeshadows that I've tried. You don't really have to buy both palettes but if you're just looking for an all-around eyeshadow palette to carry around with you in the travel, I think I would recommend 02 because it has matte shades and as well as highlights and lid colors which are these shimmery colors. Overall, I think that these are great eyeshadow palettes, especially for the price. And the only time that I would complain is if these are priced higher than 500 pesos or $10, but they're not even $4 or 200 pesos i would rate these palettes definitely 8 out of 10 just because it's super affordable and it works the only thing that i wish it had and this goes to any kind of eyeshadow palette is I wish it has those three staple colors that I'm looking for whenever I'm purchasing an eyeshadow palette. And what are those three colors? Um, first is the highlight color for my brow bone and the inner corner. So it's usually a very light champagne color or a white brow bone shade. And then transition shade and mostly I use a mocha color or like uh, orangey mocha color so that is usually what kind of transition shade i'm looking for so you guys know what a transition shade is it's the matte shade that i usually apply here then the last staple color that i'm looking for in an eyeshadow palette is a dark dark brown or a black and usually i prefer a dark dark brown but if it's black it's okay as well but if you have at least one dark color like a black or like i said a dark dark brown you're gonna be able to use this palette for a daytime look or an evening makeup look and you can create very very dark smoky eye makeup so that is my only comment but um, like i said i think i'm going to love this for a daily makeup because of the very neutral shades so that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave this video a big thumbs up. And also, please don't forget to subscribe. And I hope to see you guys again next time.